Welcome to another edition of Gear Basics. Today you're gonna to get a sneak peek at Granite Gear's new Leopard VC46 Alpine backpack. Although it's an Alpine backpack, the Leopard only weighs in at two pounds and 12 ounces and still supports loads up to 35 pounds. Granite Gear also offers a 58 liter version of the Leopard. The main differences there are it can carry a little more weight at 40 pounds load weight, um, and it only weighs a few ounces more at three pounds, one ounces. The suspension system's a little different also. Um, it has the air current suspension system as opposed to the vapor current. It's something similar to what we see on the Blaze AC60. Uh, both of the versions of the Leopard Pack have optional add-ons that do make it feel like more of an Alpine backpack. Um, these webbing straps here allow for the attachment of a crampon holster which allows for a really clean carry of your crampons. You're not going to be getting dirt and snow all up in your backpack. And it's also going to help to uh, preserve the, the fabric on the front of the pack. Another uh, optional addition to the backpacks are uh, on, the, on the hip belt here, they have uh, these, again, the webbing straps, which allow for the attachment of a gear loop. Um, and these gear loops make it really easy to attach things like ice screws, carabiners, or just quickly, you know, s slide your ice axe in there um, so you can access other things in your pack or if you just need to use your hands for any other reason. Another feature that makes this a great Alpine pack is the Siberian Cinch ice axe loops here and then ice axe loops on the bottom. It makes it really easy to securely fasten your ice axe to your, to your bag while you're approaching the mountain or when you just don't think you'll need it. For an Alpine pack, the Leopard is extremely lightweight, and Granite Gear shaves this weight in a number of ways. Uh, firstly, it has the vapor current suspension system, which is the same lightweight uh, suspension system we've seen previously on the Crown. Um, also, it utilizes a roll top feature under the lid, of course, um, and this roll top allows you to really be able to secure your things really well even if you remove the lid to make it lighter. Um, up top we also have these 10 millimeter uh, webbing straps which allow, allow you to, to stash some rope or whatever else under there really easily and access it really easily. I think what sets this pack apart from other Granite Gear packs is the existence of so many different pockets. Um, you have on the front here this big old stretch mesh pocket um, with a zipper down the side for easy access. And then you have this front kangaroo type pouch here. You can uh, just unclip the, the straps on the side and the front there and you can put like a jacket or something down there really easy to access. You also have a zippered pocket on the back side of that for maps or documents um, or anything else. On the front of this pouch and on the bottom there's this uh, another zipper down here that's great for a rain fly um, and then of course like most Grand Gear packs you have the big nice stretch mesh pockets on the side um, it has all the features you've come to expect of Grand and Gear while also offering something fresh and new and, and offering a pack that you can take places you've never taken a Grand Gear before overall I think the versatility of the Leopard is its greatest strength it's light enough to still appeal to ultralighters while uh, offering some of the features, the organization, and pockets that are necessary for something like alpine climbing or mountaineering. So look for these packs when they come out in the spring of 2013.